получил рыбы, на которого, а, из которого сделали часы. Это босс? Это глава профсоюза или кто? Before you is a walrus of a man seated yeah. behind a large desk. He looks up from his work, not the least bit surprised to see you. With great effort, he straightens himself up in his chair, yet says nothing. He simply stares at you. Uh, Welcome, Mr. Dubois, Mr. Kitsuragi. It's good of you two to stop by. Please, have a seat. I'm Everard, Everard Clare, head of the Debardes Union here in Martinez. I'd offer you my hand, but unfortunately my health prevents me from getting up. You understand? He looks extremely comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand, looks like a torture device. You go ahead, detective. Whatever he has in store for you, it can't be good, he thinks. I'll do my best. Forget about that. What's with this Dubois stuff? You're getting some seriously bad vibes from that name. Uh. Excellent, Mr. Dubois. I can see that you're a reasonable man, and reasonable men... Reasonable men can be of great use to one another. So tell me, how can the head of the Debardes Union help a representative of the Revishal Citizens Militia today? The chair you're sitting on has got to be the most uncomfortable chair in the world. It's violating your backside. <laughs> oh, by the way, I heard you got a rather rude reception from a certain Lawrence Gart. Some people have no manners, it pains me to say. This should take care of that nonsense. It should be sufficient to cover your expenses for a few days and patch over your differences with a cafeteria manager. Go ahead, take it. Взятка. Wow, that's 25 real. That's good money. <laughs> you need it. Всего 25. Я думал, там что-то серьезное будет. Сотня какая-нибудь хотя бы. Так вы знаете Гарта? Yes, I know Lawrence. He's a real character. No union man in him. A real piece of work, that boy is. With a grin, he points to the checker game. It's like you're on a game show. At least don't thank him for it. Просто оказаться или грубо? Мне это не нужно, оставьте себе. Окей, окей. I respect a man with principles. No handouts then. Now, I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. Your lost gun. Let me assure you, Union people are on it as we speak. I've got my best hounds looking for that lost gun. His slug-like lips move, but all you hear is an echo. Lost gun, lost gun, 
lost gun. The world is swallowed by a black hole of fear. Only two words escape its gravitational pull. Lost and gun. Oh God, why didn't you think of this before? Cops have guns. Where's yours? Это меня совершенно не беспокоит. Кому какое дело до того, что я потерял свой любимый пистолет и, точнее, свой пистолет и любовь всей жизни. Fuck love. This is your gun. This is serious. Are you all right, Harry? You seem anxious. Don't be. Everything's going to be all right. Гарри Дюбуа. It's not like you left it loaded. You didn't lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now, pointing it into their own mouths. It's in a safe place. I just know it. I have a feeling everything's going to be all right. It was loaded. There were two bullets in it. You always keep at least two barrels loaded. Kim, um, Kim. Officer, we will deal with this later. We don't need Mr. Clare's help with this. I wouldn't be so sure about that. God, you're sweating. Your knee is jerking. You're about to cry, aren't you? You're about to cry because you lost your gun and those children are gonna shoot themselves with it. Mr. Dubois, you don't look so good. What is this Mr. Dubois he keeps repeating? What is he trying to pull here? You need to cool the fuck down. Chill. Mr. Dubois! Mr. Dubois! Harry! Нет никаких Гарри, уходи в себя там безопасно. Мистер Дубуа, are you okay? Can I get you a glass of water or something? Are you having some kind of medical emergency? Maybe you could use your hands somehow in a kind of throw-in motion, like you're throwing that Mr. Dubois act right back at him. He's Mr. Dubois. Я таю. Удачи, чувак, мне просто заебись. Честно говоря, этот стул не очень удобный. Я бы не отказался от стакана воды. Сесть прямо. What an odd demonstration of... Uh, you got me, Harry. I don't even know what. As entertaining as it was... I'm afraid we're wasting our time, and I'm an extremely busy man, as I'm sure you are too. Okay, enough. We are here to ask you some questions pertaining to a murder investigation. Quick, here's your window. Get yourself together and ask him questions. Police officer questions. It is about time to stop embarrassing yourself. Questions will help you regain some of your lost dignity. Uh... 
Не хотите спросить меня, как я здесь оказался? Хотя... Сейчас он опять начнет. Дай ему только волю. поговорить о повешении. Конечно, это моя основная проблема. Я знаю все, что No. But there's a thing that's been keeping me up at night. I want to talk about the hanging. I mean, if we could just calmly talk, exchange information, we could blow this thing wide open. Yes, that sounds good. Let's do that. But I can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. You're police officers, aren't you? I have a crazy idea. You guys are basically door-opening machines, incredibly talented at opening doors. Тим, это правда? Мы машины по открыванию дверей? I'm not sure I understand. If you're asking us to break down someone's door, it's not going to happen. Come now. I just need you to go open a little door for me and leave it unlocked. A simple thing. Absolutely nothing shady about it. Does this jiggling ooze think he's going to use you? He's got another thing coming. Play his game, son. With your eyes peeled. He's going to slip up. And when he does, you're going to come out on top. Oh, no ones. It's just a weasel. A weasel lives there. Nothing for you to worry about. A loud blabbering weasel. When weasels feel no one is watching, they start acting foolishly. Just go there, unlock the door, and leave it open. It's been such a burden on me, Harry. I just want this to be over so I can discuss business with you. Черт, ладно, я займусь этим. Нужно поговорить об убийстве. Поэтому надо принять задание. Ну, то есть мы можем его принять, не обязательно его выполнять. При этом. Он же сказал, типа, сделай вид, что ты играешь по его правилам. Тем более это, не знаю, это правило квестов. Бери все квесты, которые есть. Почему бы вам... Можно еще поговорить немножко. Почему бы вам самому не открыть эту дверь? Харри, я очень бедный человек, и, более важно, я не имею того экстраординарного физика, как ты делаешь. Ты выглядишь, как ты можешь бегать все день. Ты хочешь сказать кому-то сообщение, что полиция работает для тебя? Я повторяю, я очень, очень бедный человек, мистер Китсараги. And therefore, I must occasionally enlist outside help. So what will it be, Harry? Короче, ладно. Займусь этим. Нам нужно поговорить об убийстве, потому что... Fantastic, my friend. Just let me know when it's done, and we can take our friendship to the next level. You can get the key from Manana. He's down by the gates. Manana's like a free agent in the Union. Special operations, hardened socialist, a real free thinker too. He'll tell you precisely where the door is. One last thing, Harry. Just open the door. You don't need to go in or anything. 
I just want that weasel to come home and see the unlocked door. Кстати говоря, я встретил Джойс, она представляет компанию. Oh, that's very nice. I haven't gotten around to her yet. I'm very, very busy, you see. I hope you're getting along. One thing I want to make very clear, Harry, is that this is not some kind of union versus corporation situation. Everyone is just pals here. Просто друзья. Yes, we're all trying to do what's best for Martin Eight. Don't feel like you shouldn't work with her just because you and I are such good friends. I'm not a jealous guy. А что случилось с предыдущим переговорщиком? Гомоном. What do you mean, Harry? Nothing. I let him go. Во время прошлых переговоров он заставил компанию пойти на уступки. Зачем отпускать такого союзника? He's an old man, Harry. I wanted him to spend more time with his family. God knows how long he's got left. назвали его карликом. Harry, I have little people in my organization. I would never call someone a midget. What is this? Honestly, I'm beginning to think you're a midget, Harry. I'm only kidding, Harry. You're not a midget. No one is. We're pals. Джойс сказала, что предыдущий председатель профсоюза исчез при подозрительных обстоятельствах. Vanished? Harry, the woman left her casserole in the oven and couldn't make it here in time for the voting. Oh, did I leave my casserole on? Better go home and check. The election can wait. When she got back, the whole thing was over. Wait, there was no mention of a casserole from Joyce. Забавно, Joyce не упоминала никакой запеканки. Harry, Harry, Harry. Do not fixate on this little matter. Maybe it was a rabbit stew, or a hair dryer, or an iron. The point is, her heart wasn't in it. Mine was. Так почему вы не впустили ее к себе? If she actually wants to see me, she will find a way. Any good negotiator would. And I just don't have anything to discuss with a bad negotiator. He doesn't want to see her. It's as simple as that. Of course, Harry. Let me just assure you one more time. It's perfectly okay to share anything we discuss here with this Joyce. This is a completely transparent organization. I have no interest in what she is doing, but I myself have nothing to hide. Your business is your business and I respect your privacy. Just remember, none of this is secret. Tell her about all of it. My brother's picture, my singing swordfish clock. Tell her how overweight I am and how I'm helping you find your lost gun. Tell her about everything. Everard doesn't mind. It is rather interesting to tell people things about each other, isn't it? It was nice telling him about her right now. Не знаю, стоит ли про наркотики с ним заговаривать сейчас. Ладно, Эврор, сейчас мне нужно идти, но, возможно, мы еще продолжим разговор. Wait. You need this to get in and out through the gate. 
Oh, da lang. Отлично. Не хотелось бы здесь застрять. Here, you're one of us now, a real red and white union man. Take care, Harry. Окей, okay, теперь мы можем сюда проходить, когда пожелаем. Только я не могу выйти теперь. Но я не могу выйти почему-то. Почему-то он не хочет идти. <laughs> Не знаю почему. Мне, мне за что зацепиться даже. Ты что ты сделал? Гадкий тип. Почему, блин, что, почему он не выходит? Ну, в этой игре не очень, конечно, вот эти управления. Физика. Физика не очень тут сделана. Я не могу выйти. Да, ничего.
что-то сломалось. Не знаю, перезагрузить что ли. А, блядь, вот так вот, блядь, пиздец. Там, там, блядь, пиздец. То есть проход не вот не, по, не напрямую, проход налево, блядь. Как это понять, пиздец? Тут же нет вращения камеры, правильно? Проход, блядь, налево. Я не заметил, когда, когда заходил. Ну, там ступеньки налево идут, блядь, пиздец. Это вообще не видно же. Охереть. И это вообще, вообще, ну, и вообще незаметно сделано как-то, ну, тупом. Ладно, растянулся под весом дождевой воды и с... с э, что? Блять. Чего еще? Контейнер, контейнер, I'll turn you nice and red. Контейнер, контейнер, put the logos on. The lyrics to this container song are being made up as he goes along. The accent is so thick, it's impossible not to notice he's Ubi from the vanishing peninsula of Ubisunt on Muindi. Container, container, used to be well pines. Container, container, now belongs to Everard.
Привет. Эбрат, Эбрат, Эбрат. He looks after everyone. Huh? Well, hey there. How can I help you, mister? I see you are not a union man, mister. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? Что вы все имеете против антистачников? I mean, I don't personally mind. Folks is just folks, you know, and folks gotta eat. Just some of the other guys don't look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. Ты уби, верно? О, yes. Born and raised in Arayish, mister. Mom had to leave my dad after he got a bit violent. Took us here to the new new world. I was about ten then. Too old to lose my accent then. People say us ubis are up to all sorts of trouble with sheep and other animals and whatnot. I just want you to know there was never any of that where I come from. No, sir. Those are just nasty rumors. Thank you for clarifying that, sir. Что ты делаешь с контейнерами? Oh, I'm just making some covers for them containers here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So it's easier for the crane operators to spot them. Что тут происходит? The containers in the yard are green in Wild Pine's livery, and the mountains rising behind Leo is all red in Union colors. It's like some red infection was spreading outwards from the container yard's core. There appear to be cisterns underneath the Union container covers. Leo, а кто-нибудь объяснял тебе, зачем перекрашивать контейнеры? No, not really. Mr. Everett doesn't tell me all the big things. Says I go and tell them to everyone. А что внутри этих красных контейнеров? Oh, I don't know, mister. They say it's some chemicals. Most of them have labels on them, I think. Это довольно масштабная операция, Ким. Yes, they are hiding it from the inside. All the red containers have the Debarders Union logo on them. Спасибо, Лео, ты очень помог. Oh, no trouble at all, mister. No trouble at all. А где все? В порту никого нет. But Titus and his boys got into some drunken trouble, and Everard sent them on a nice vacation for a week or so. В какую заварушку ввязались этот Тит и его друзья? Oh, I'm not really supposed to talk about that. That's union business. Может, это они убили его? Him and his boys stirred up something in town. Probably drank too much and got into a fight or something. I heard Mr. Everett telling them to take some time off. Подозреваем их. Спрятать надо. Залегте на дно. Но что именно они сделали? I guess the boys got a bit too rowdy and had to let out some steam. I don't really know the details. That's just how boys are, you know. <laughs> I haven't been in a fight since I was in middle school. Easy, Leo. Let's keep this on the hard ease. Ладно, Лео, давай послушаем про твою драку. I remember I was the runt of the class. <laughs> the bigger boys always used to pick on me. You see, I had a bit of a temper back in the day. Flew off the handle like nobody's business. But Miss Evra and his brother always came to help. Once they beat old Noel Becker so bad he needed stitches on his head. <laughs> Noel never started another fight with anyone after this. 
Mr. Edra and Mr. Edgar are real nice guys, mister. You should go talk to Mr. Edra. I'm sure you'll be good friends. He's friends with everyone around here. <coughs> Ну, типа, все равно бесполезно спрашивать его напрямую, типа, это они убили там кого-то. Если он знает, то он не скажет, а, если... а так, скорее всего, он не знает даже. Получается, ты здесь работаешь? Actually, Miss Beaufort is the right-hand man, but she's a lady. <laughs> Who is this Miss Beaufort? A real pretty lady with a skin like those Douai Sucre candy bars my missus likes so much. Them are real nice to suckle on once the dinner is done and me and the missus sit down beside the radio. But I can't listen to the radio all the time. There's so much to do around here, and I'm always busy keeping things running here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, Lizzie. She is a real sharp tool. Mr. Everett put her through some fancy school and everything, east of the river. Four years she was gone, and when she came back, she was all fancy and lawyerly. But she's a real nice girl. Grew up in this here neighborhood. Knows everybody and gets along with everyone. Real pillar of the community one day, I'm sure. If me missus and me was to have a child, I'd be real happy if she turned out like her. But she can't have kids. Dr. Lemaitre said so, and she knows about such things. Been a doctor for almost 50 years, she has. So Everett trained a lawyer named Miss Beaufort. Interesting. Yes, this place really seems to run like clockwork. Keep it up, Leo. Well, thanks a lot. Coming from you, it means a lot, really. Sometimes I feel some of the guys don't really get how much I bust my ass for them here. But you guys are all right. Кстати, это ты тот Лео, который написал записку, что нужно сделать больше плакатов. Oh yes, yes. I leave all kinds of notes for myself. That old head of mine ain't so good at keeping things in no more. I almost forgot about the borscht. А что там про борщ? Oh yes, I've been taking special whirling borscht to the men every day since the strike started. <laughs> а то есть это обычный борщ? Мы думали это наркотики. It's very, very good. Makes a man feel so warm and happy. I feel like I could take on Mr. Renadan's boar dogs every time the lunch is done. Power borscht, huh? Never heard of a borscht that turns little guys into dog fighters. Alcohol, however. Что ты имеешь в виду, когда говоришь ношу этот суп ребятам? Он для бастующих? Yes, yes. I'm taking it to them. The borscht keeps them happy and in fighting spirits. Makes you all warm inside. They brew it in the whirling in rags. Слушай, нет, это не просто борщ. Погоди, а кто в танцах его готовит? Oh, the whirling's cook. He makes it. Them is always talking with Mr. Manana in that weird language and laughing together. He doesn't speak what we speak. He's from Grad. Похоже, в этот борщ что-то добавляют. Я выясню в чем дело. Oh, sure, Mister. Sure. You do that. Yes, sir. А что он в том контейнере? Oh, that one. That should be empty as far as I know. Lots of containers here have nothing in them. They're just waiting to be loaded up. Ну ладно, я пойду. Bye bye now. Так. Ну какой-то еще квест взяли.
Из раскинувшейся перед тобой пропасти исходит мускусный запах топлива и ржавчины. Пахнет как кровь. Что, закрыто? Хер пойми, как, куда я пойти? А, тут вот лестница точно. Уж это... several knobs. Marsh. I думал, что туда можно пройти. Да, видимо, нельзя пройти. Хотя можно опустить этот кран, посмотреть, может быть, там что-то есть. Контейнер. panel with several knobs. Two buttons marked Marsh and Aret are faded with use. It seems to control the large crane above. A container is attached to its hook block. Marsh on Aret off. Uh, with a loud grind, the crane shifts overhead. Moving a massive metal container through the air. Surprisingly quiet thunk, the crane places the container down. The harbor sleeps as the strike rages in the distance. The crane can rest again now that its purpose has been fulfilled. Его цель? О чем ты? Какая цель? Moving this container, of course. For this purpose, it was built. For this purpose, it has acted, and now it will rest. I can't see how that was worth the records, except for seeing the crane in action, which I admit was satisfying. Ладно. Before you stands a cargo container just one of many in the yard Kim, мне кажется это необычный контейнер you do because I don't 
Что, почему нет? There are a million containers here. Why are you fixating on this one? Не знаю, Ким, я просто чувствую, что он особенный. It's a cargo container, detective. Just like all the others. We are not here to interact with containers. We are here to talk to the union, right? No reply. The knot produces a hollow ring of metal. Doesn't sound like there's anything inside the container. You attempt to turn the handle to no avail. The doors seem to be mechanically locked. To your left, the lieutenant considers your actions with some puzzlement. Блин, Ким, ты такой иногда душный. Блин, просто не можешь довериться мне, а? Своему напарнику, блин. Да, нельзя пройти, что ли? This is the night watchman's booth. The name on the door reads Rene Arno. Ким, я быстренько гляну, что там. If you must. But please hurry. We are pretty easy to spot up here. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean, and their sparse contents meticulously organized. There's a framed photograph on the table. It's a black and white photo of a young couple out in a street fair. The man is young, dark-skinned, and dressed in a Royal Carabiner uniform. The girl is smiling playfully at the camera. Why did you take that? Я же коп, у меня инстинкт собирать улики. Fine, but let's move. I don't want to be seen snooping around here. Теперь плевать на этого Жанна Люка или как вот он. So, how'd you like a harbor? Было очень мило. It's but a rest area on the path leading across open plains. Right, you talk to the boss eye to eye, like men of the plain. If you have any more questions, I'm set to talk. Эврор говорил, что у тебя есть ключ от двери. A key, huh? What door is this key supposed to open? Я надеялся, что ты мне расскажешь. Of course, I got you. You don't know anything. I got that key right here. And let me tell you, it's mighty good of you to help us out during the strike. Working class solidarity, as they say. Я услышал что-то про стукача, и было понятно, что тут речь не про местных полярных дятлов, если ты понимаешь, о чем я. Полар Уисел? 
Oh. I know what you mean. I'm pretty sure he's actually Occidental, though. So you're gonna be committing fratricide, my racist friend. Smoothly. What you're looking for is a basement door behind the greenhouse. That's behind the whirling in rags. That's all I know. Our organization is what you call compartmentalized. Means we keep out of each other's business. Okay, but where did you get the key from? The janitor gave it to me. Nice fella. We talked about life and things that really, truly matter. None of this mess we're in. This jiving and juggling. What's it for? To feed our children, I guess. Что мне еще стоит узнать об этом задании? И об этом стукаче? Кто он будет... А, когда он будет дома? I'm more of a philosophical dog worker. I like to talk about the big picture stuff. Who I am, who you are, what we are fighting for. Who he is and what they're fighting for. This is interesting. Ну так почему вы бастуете? We're negotiating our share. Вашу долю? Ай. Так дело не в жаловании, не в пенсиях. This stuff. They already covered. Разве вы не должны быть за это благодарны? Это куда больше того, что здесь есть у большинства. Never grateful. Were we ever grateful, we'd have nothing. You fight for every piece. И на какого размера долю вы рассчитываете? All of it. However, right now we want all the harbor workers to be on the company's board, so they could take part in the decision-making process. Ты коммунист? No. I don't think I'm a communist. Seeing something of value and saying I want it all to myself is a much older and simpler notion. No science to it at all. Even a weak child can think it. The only things holding someone back are I can't and I shouldn't. No, да, как бы да. Но так в этом есть смысл, что люди понимают, что что-то нельзя брать. Нельзя брать чужое. Then how can anything ever be mine? But that's okay. We don't have to agree. The prairie is wide enough for all of us. Ваш главный Эврер, что ты про него скажешь? I think it's best you make up your own mind now that you've met him. In my eyes, he is a capable organizer and a decent businessman. Чем вообще занимается председатель профсоюза? I guess you kind of get to be the village chief. He oversees the harbor, makes deals with the owners or other relevant parties, watches out for his own. By that, you mean corruption? By heavens, why would it not be corrupt? We live in a harsh and disordered world, see? And in this world, the old man is corrupt for our benefit, and we know it, appreciate it even. He is, personally, not too lavish. He is reasonably lavish, sure. That's his prerogative. It's not like you want a saintly demeanor on a corrupt motherfucker. That would be a manipulative illusion. Besides, there are no non-corrupt systems in the world anyway. And moralism is the most corrupt of them all. Похоже, ты изрядно времени потратил, размышляя над политической ситуацией. Sure. I've had the necessary free time. Fortunately, there's always time. The look in his brown eyes conjures up an understanding. For him, having command of his time is the most important thing. It all comes together now. The way he speaks about scabs, his general attitude. He's a follower of a 500-year-old Franco-Nigerian Boyadero code, itself an appropriation of Vespertine cool. That of a noble peasant or a traveling herdsman True to yourself, independent in your actions, loyal to your friends. Uh, 
Met jou ben je de hero. No. 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 The man sits on the railing, his hands reaching far and wide. Yet it feels as if he could effortlessly go even wider, if need be, an endless torrent of time. Yes, mostly at home, Kto Bill Pavishno. The mercenary, eh? Who could have killed him? That's indeed the question. Why even do such a thing? The man whispers a jaunty tune. A coastal breeze ruffles his hair. Так, ладно, хорошо поговорили, но мне пора Почему мне, блин, я это была какая-то шутка, я вообще не понял, о чем она. То есть я подумал, что она реально о сравнении типа ну, чисто словесное сравнение, типа ну, типа каламбур, что стучит, но не, но не дятел. А он говорит типа, а так ты расист. Мне теперь вон единичка в репликах. Типа фашист. <laughs> Чего? Единичка в фашистских репликах. Я вообще не, не об этом думал. Меня подставили. Слушай, надо вот это поговорить после девяти. Ну, вроде он сказал, что завтра, а не сегодня. Просто уже через полчаса будет девять. Куну, ты все еще там? Да, он все еще там. Мне треники продашь или как? Акуну, давай снова поговорим о твоей лачуге. Хотя ладно, ничего тут нет нового. Слушал достаточно. Я должен спросить, кто такой Куно? Выходит, ты говоришь о себе в третьем лице? Everyone can hear. You need to get the hell out of here before. Uh. So, yeah. Get out of here before the Kuno beats the shit out of you. Yeah, that's right. Drag your fat ass out of here, fat boy, before Kuno fucks you. <laughs> By the Kuno, we all right. You want to get fucked again? Come back. Swallowish milker. Me, можно поговорить с Джойс, но еще я хотел бы хотел попробовать это. Куда, кстати, сдавать это? Название книги Человек из хе э, Хемдали и Дикий огонь. Ну, 
блин, встань. The sight of bullet holes stirs something in you, making you forget the lieutenant's surname. Сначала присмотреться. The faded marks are too degraded to draw any forensic conclusions. Just chips in the sandstone. They look pretty ancient. Ким, смотри, отверстие от пули. Where? Здесь в кого-то стреляли. Мы же полицейские, мы должны расследовать это дело. There? Those are old. Старые? В смысле? These bullets were fired during the revolution, over half a century ago. They do not warrant investigation. Ладно, что ты можешь рассказать об этой революции? Not much. I don't have a fresh perspective on it. Shall we go? Я стараюсь по возможности все, что все, что можно это. Послушивать. Потому что кто знает, что даст мне. Что дадут мне эти диалоги. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Через 20 минут это будет. Что? Держит 26 бутылок. А где их сдавать-то надо? А, в автомате. Что сдадим бутылки? The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals ten cents. Your bottles clunk into the machine, and the money appears with a satisfying jingle. You're a richer man now. You're 100% sure you've got special hobo cop money for that tear. At least 100% extra tear money. If the numbers on the machine told you otherwise, it's a lie. This coin-operated viewer is facing south. The instruction manual says to insert 25 centims and pull the handle while looking inside. Then use the focus knob to zoom in if necessary. This coin-operated viewer is facing southwest. Its coin slot is full of fossilized bubble gum, rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. Vandalism. Probably some kids. Bedny malinki binoklik. The metal feels cold and wet under your palm. It looks unhygienic. A thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. You spell out the word Onuk written on the other side with n and c scribbled backwards under the graffito a sea of blues and grays appear behind the water lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds on it a church on stilts 
lanky weather-worn wooden planks, an X-shaped cross topping its tower. The church looks old and weather-worn. There are no lights in the windows. Around the large wooden building you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach, and a small tent set up on the ice. Ходит коп, короче, бутылки собирает. Но я же бомжиков. Кстати, да, там можно было, наверное, обшарить эту мусорку получше. Блин, 20.43, что-то время так ползет. Успею поговорить, наверное, с дамочкой. Пойду поговорю с ней. Она все равно рядом. Я поговорил с водителями грузовиков на перекрестке. Yes, my eyes on the harbor have sent word to that effect. What have you discovered? Погодите-ка, а где конкретно расположены эти ваши глаза? It doesn't really matter, and I do apologize for the surveillance. Wild pines can't afford to be blind at a time like this. In any case, it's a relief to know someone has looked into it. If I may ask, will there be an official investigation? I assume you discovered there is an operation. If there is an investigation, it will be part of an ongoing operation, subject to confidentiality. I am sure you understand. Of course, detectives. In any case, you've held up your end of our arrangement. I trust you with the rest. Now it's my turn. I wouldn't normally break protocol like this, but the situation demands it. If you don't solve this murder, I'm afraid we may have a bloodbath on our hands. The words bloodbath sound cold in her mouth. They taste of iron and strawberries. Yes. I'm afraid this strike may descend into a small-scale civil war, with possible consequences for all of Rivershall West. Since you are sharing man. This is also the RCM's worst case scenario. Then we're on the same page, as grim as it may be. I have an indirect role to play, I'm sad to say. My employer experienced a momentary lapse of faith in me. In that moment, they elected to deploy a private military contractor as an insurance measure. They called it my security detail. Absolutely not. These mercenaries are muscle, pure and simple. They are meant to intimidate the Union into surrendering. Who are they, exactly? Cronel, an Oranese military company. As far as I know, three arrived in Martinez. They report to me sporadically, but they do not answer to me. To be frank, our relationship is deteriorating. They wear ceramic armor, have semi-automatic weapons and years of combat experience. They also have trauma and stressor disorder, and no idea how to conduct themselves in an urban civilian environment. No. So, what happened? The story is, one of them, the Colonel, I don't know his real name, sexually assaulted a local woman, 
while he was drunk and separated from his unit. This allowed some of the more militant Union members to subdue him. He was taken out behind the whirling in rags and lynched last Sunday night. Nothing. Mr. Clare refuses to let me into the harbor. I have not been able to discuss this matter with anyone there. The remaining two Cronell contractors carry out their orders, for now. Acosta. It's a smokescreen. In secret, they are conducting an independent military tribunal into the lynching. Once this investigation is concluded, executions will follow. What is the nature of this so-called investigation? Whether to execute one, some, or all of the Union militants. Ну и дела. Добром это точно не кончится. It's not good. No. My only hope is that you provide a single concrete suspect before the mercenaries indiscriminately pick theirs. Simply put, if you don't pin this on someone good and do it fast, they will identify and execute everyone present at the lynching. This in turn will force the Union to respond. The Debarder have over 2,000 men. It will be a thousand to one. Have you ever seen a hornet invade a beehive, Lieutenant? It's not pretty. These men work in tandem using semi and fully automatic firearms. Their armor is virtually impenetrable to muzzle-loaded weapons, even yours. Most Union workers don't have guns at all. As I said, a bloodbath. Вам не кажется, что вы описываете слишком уж мрачный исход? Many bleak scenarios have already come true. Nameless, badgeless detective of the citizens militia. All we can do is keep the rest from going the same way. One single concrete suspect delivered into civil court, and I may be able to defuse this situation. Что вы знаете о Кренеле? Not much. Their public resume is relatively good, as far as private military contractors go. I believe they were once called Downwell. They boast a long list of clients: Saint Baptiste, Welchmann Lorenz, Eintracht. A warning sign, however. The operations concerned all take place in third or fourth world countries. Guarding facilities, escort missions, and such. Meaning they're used to operating in war zones. Yes. All the good conflict corridors, Supramundi, Yesut, the Seminese Islands, countries that don't have a good record reporting atrocious military conduct on their soil. Ладно, что еще вы о них знаете? Sadly, no. Before this happened, I had little interest in them. Now that I do, I don't have the resources. If you still have access to the ICP's database, you could run a better background check than I ever could. It may take some time, though. Do you know a lot about the inner workings of the RCM and the ICP, ma'am? In my line of work, it pays to do your research. I was prepared to deal with the RCM. I did not think I would be dealing with a group like Cronell. You can talk with the company and ask them to I have, and they will. However, these orders take time to reach what is basically a rogue unit out in the field here. Until they do, it's all on us. You said that the dead man fell on a woman. Or he didn't. This is information passed on to me from some teenagers loitering around the canal. I cannot testify by it. And who did you get it? The remaining contractors, their tribunal. It's what they believe. Что же сказали эти подростки? That the man was killed because he assaulted a local woman. I've asked around a bit. This seems to be the accepted story around Martinez. 
The lieutenant consults his notebook, his eyebrows knitted in concentration. Odd. We haven't heard any reports about an assault in connection with the lynching. Where did it take place? And when? Last Sunday night, at the Whirling in Rags, the hostel by the gates. Supposedly, the colonel was drunk, maybe on narcotics, too. Either way, he's alleged to have sexually assaulted a woman. Sometime later, a group of dock workers got their hands on him. That's a good question, officer. I don't have the slightest idea. As I said, it's a rumor. About a rumor. In any case, it's what the colonel's remaining colleagues believe. You meet her soon enough, you feel? No. Скажите, этот полковник, которого повесили, вы знали его? If you mean, did I see him alive? Yes. But I did not know him. Его звали? Лели. His service name. A nom de guerre, most likely. He wouldn't divulge his full name. Only one of them did. A bad sign if there ever was one. Расскажите мне сначала об остальных. One is a man. Courty, they call him. A nickname as well. The other a woman. Phyllis de Paul. Courty is the gunner, I believe. De Paul is a radio operator. What would you say was his eye color? The deceased. She closes her eyes, trying to picture the man's face. Then shakes her head. I can't remember. That's all right, ma'am. Anything else? Nationality? What would you say was his age? He was 40. Or 50. It's hard to say which. He had a combat injury on his lower jaw. It made it difficult to estimate his age. Or gauge his facial expressions. What else? Nationality? Accent? He was, uh, occidental, I think. Light brown hair. A mixed accent. Oranese. Or Messinian, maybe. His injury gave him an accent all his own. In a way, it was humanizing. He had to learn to speak through it. Through the injury. That's all I know, I guess. I only met him once. Where are the rest of the people? They've gone to ground, as it were. I don't recommend seeking them out. For one, they're almost certainly armed to the teeth. They don't have the same respect for the Revachol citizens militia as I do. To put it bluntly, they think you're vigilantes. Ghetto savages. It will not be a fruitful meeting. You're likely to run into them eventually. When that happens, I'll be in a better position to mediate if I don't appear involved. One is obviously the scab leader at the harbor gates. The one chanting the idiotic slogans. He's barely maintaining his disguise. The other has a vantage point in a building south of the roundabout. They were keeping tabs on you while you were canvassing the lorry drivers. Должно быть один из них стоящий у портовых ворот Верзила в рабочей одежде не по размеру. Лидер антистачников. That may be so. I still hope you heed my advice. There's no need to kick the hornet's nest. For all your talk of averting this catastrophe, the situation at the gate is a border keg. Does this not bother you? Of course it bothers me, Lieutenant. But my hands are tied. How would my employer react if it appeared I were intervening on behalf of the Union? Your concern may be appearances. Ours is keeping the peace. 
Вероятно, один из них расположился в здании и наблюдает за перекрестком. Так, у меня есть к вам другие вопросы. I hope I can answer it better. Сколько у нас времени? Until the executions start. Truthfully, I don't know. It depends on their progress identifying the members of the lynch mob and their impatience. They don't report their progress to you? Not on this matter. I'm afraid they consider this a personal initiative. It's a matter of days, not weeks. Так, ладно. На этом пока все. I am sorry to have been the bearer of bad news. If there is anything else I can help you with, please ask. Кстати, я поговорил с Эдвардом uh, Севером Клэром. You have. And how did you like Mr. Clare? Finally. Time to choose sides. Какая разница, какая разница, что я о нем думаю? Я просто выполнял свою работу. Of course, detective. Excuse me for implying otherwise. The RCM does not pick sides in this. I hope it doesn't come off any other way. Of course. And I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. I'm not a corrupt verm myself. However, if you felt like discussing something, how could I stop you? Are we not human? Are we not curious to hear another person's take? It's only natural. We would only be gossiping. Intellectually speaking, it would be quite interesting to hear what she has to say about these things. Tell her she'll like you for it. If you don't предложил сменить тему. У меня нет возможности что-то другое сказать. Наверное, потому что я с ним не поговорил еще про про наркотики непосредственно. Of course, detective. Should something come up later down the road, don't be afraid to drop by for a chat. Until then, is there anything I can help you with? Спасибо, на этом у меня пока все. The 15th Infantrite. Because there was, the 15th Infantrite was comprised of eight kids from Forberg and North Jamrock, running from wild dogs in the valley, hiding scents under rocks and stealing clothes off clotheslines, and sometimes even the copper wiring of phone lines. You may have been one of them. This must be a childhood memory. The 15th Indo tribe was your Indo tribe, set to rule in Cylinder. The rest of the kids are dead now. Car accidents and drug overdoses. Only you remain. What is this? What is Indo tribe? Что такое индотриба? Пишите в комментариях. Окей, но у меня больше, кстати, нет мыслей. Тут их, по идее, в списке очень много. Вот их в списке очень много, блин. Как смотрите, какой огромный список, но у меня пока доступных вообще нет. К сожалению. Что ж, на этом, наверное, сегодня закончим. 
самый раз. Вот. Да, у меня есть очки навыков, но я их по берегу пока, чтобы как раз таки вот мысли использовать потом. Квесты некоторые, да, закрыли. Вот. В общем, потихонечку продвигаемся. Дело начинает распутываться. Так что все норм. Все. Продолжим завтра. Надеюсь.